Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today talking about traits that make a good landlord. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters. Thank you so much for watching my video blog today. Today I'm talking about some of the traits that make a good landlord. Oftentimes I get people who call me and say, I'm thinking about renting out this property and what is it that I need to do to make sure that this is a good experience? Or is it even really the right decision for you to be a landlord? So I thought I'd put together some traits that make a good landlord. Now, there's a really big difference between being a rental property owner and a successful landlord. And if you do want to be a rental property owner but really don't want to deal with the management of the property, then you may want to consider hiring a property manager. Being a landlord is way more than just sitting at home and collecting rent checks. They know how to communicate effectively with tenants and sense a lot of the problems before it happens. So some of the traits that make up a good landlord are as follows. First of all, being organized is really critical. No tenant wants to find out that their landlord has lost their rental agreement or worse, their rent payment. So a good landlord is well organized with documents on hand, being able to access them as necessary and reference them. This is really key to a hassle-free relationship. Also timely maintenance on a property. Obviously repairs come up from time to time, whether it's a leaky faucet, toilets, um, you know, the proverbial midnight phone call about a, a plumbing leak. So getting repairs done quickly and doing preventative maintenance is really critical for being a good landlord. One of the tenant's biggest complaints today is that a lot of them will pinpoint maintenance issues. So really being able to stay on top of those maintenance issues. If you're so busy keeping uh, hours, working 10, 12 hours a day, five, six days a week, it may not behoove you to be actively managing the property yourself. One of the next traits is being respectful. Obviously, no tenant likes it when their landlord is condescending, rude, judgmental. Good landlords are going to cultivate an atmosphere of respect by acting with complete professionalism, keeping their distance, and being kind and honest. Now, number four is being trustworthy. Are you honest in your dealings with tenants? If not, it's going to show. The tenants are not stupid, and they'll be able to tell you if you cut tell if you cut corners. They'll also they have to be able to trust what you say, and likewise, you have to show that you trust them. You can't constantly be checking up on if they're going to be paying their rent on time, or, or making sure that they've done the things that they're supposed to do. So trust them. It's not naive to think that at some point somebody may take advantage of you, but you do have to show them trust. The next one is being reliable. A solid presence is way more important than you may realize. Many times landlords are very absentee and that's when their properties end up getting really run down or things start to happen at the properties. So you really want to make sure your renters know that they can rely on you. To that end, answer the phone when you're available to and promptly call back if you're not. Perhaps one of the most impacting elements on being a landlord is following through when you make a promise. Let tenants know that they can rely on you by keeping your word and not making promises that you can't keep. Be transparent. Nothing should be hidden from your tenants. From open communication, your residents should really have a good idea of what's going on. In addition, don't try to hide things. If there's a mold or pest infestation, tenants have a right to know. Explain what's going on and then explain that you're fixing the problem. No one likes to hear that their place has a problem, but they'll respect your honesty and integrity by resolving the problem quickly. Now, Here's an important one. Keep an appropriate distance. Your new tenant is not your new best friend. You want to keep a respectful and appropriate distance from your tenant's lives. You might even share the same space in a duplex or triplex situation, but it doesn't mean that you need to nose into their business or micromanage their actions. No one likes a landlord peeking over their shoulders at all times. Keep to yourself mostly 
and only intervene if there's a pressing problem or the tenant asks you to get involved. Now, flexibility. It's important to be sticking to the contract and holding tenants responsible for the rules, but it doesn't mean that you can't be a little bit flexible in understanding when circumstances get hard. Just remember that we're all human beings and a little compassion can go a long way. If you have a renter with a good payment history who suddenly misses a payment because of a family emergency or a lost job, cut them a little slack until they get back on their feet. And most importantly, communication. Tenants hate to be left in the dark about anything. A good landlord has mastered the art of communication. They answer questions quickly, address concerns thoroughly, and inform tenants of important dates and maintenance work being performed. Keeping tenants in the loop makes it easy to establish good relationships and keep them happy with your work. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're unsure if you would make a good landlord or not, feel free to give me a call and we can go through some questions to see if it makes sense for you, either income-wise or if your personality is a good fit to be a landlord. And remember, you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com or you can call me at 562-316-2915. Feel free to forward and share this with your friends, and thank you so much for your watching.